Pabla back to the video, we're gonna be reacting to it quick. <laughs> um, I thought I almost had that, bro. And Equestrian Tales, Chapter 1, MLP in Real Life Audiobook by Brony Pony Productions. The death of me by Brony Pony Productions. Now, here's the thing. You know what? I'm gonna do something. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up just a minute. Hold up just a minute. I'm going to show y'all my first, the first verse of one of my songs. Um, the reason why, editor's note, blur this out. The reason why is because if I do not blur this out, I'm going to make sure that people actually suffer. If I suffer, I mean me. I might not have to blur it out. Mm. Did show my email or anything? Appreciate that. Fan Labs. Okay, yeah, that's not the right account. That's the old account. That's the old. Boy, look how old this account is. If it didn't rap is so easy, I'm gonna come and see you take a shot at this. No, 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 back out of this. This is what you wanted. Stop saying it's ridiculous. Man, this is tragic. This is it's out of my radius. I can even rap better than you. I never thought I would be able to rap better than anyone. You can't rap better than anyone, so stop trying. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and log out of this one. And I'm gonna go to my actual one. So editor's note, blur this out. You better blur this out, or me and you are going to have problems. Um Big problems. Okay, there we go. Here's my right account. I might not have to blur it out after all. Phrasing. Phrasing? What? Phrasing Lord? What? I'm the only one. That's the song title. Listen to the first verse. Am I the only one that thinks keeping that my side against the humane? Or maybe I am. How would that have been for a turn? Tell me what y'all think. I meant to say that, but. To the end of your days, it pains me to see this anabolic captivity that raises my friend as he's too absorbing. I would have been the only one to have this in heart, and I would have thought that would be the case. People I've been looking for a penny, people out there that have plenty of give it to the DD and sickening. Because they were pretty bad, because the actions you were committing. Too far to the left, it goes death. And too far to the right, it goes to fight, which you're gonna lose. And too far to send the eagles. Wait a minute, you better than a great view. Get a good view. Stay out of the and you'll be cool. Then we go to everyone, they wave the fool. Or you can go and die in a fiery pool. <laughs> now, oh, oh, freaking fall. Oh. Now, I know it's faster than what the beat is, but I don't care. The reason being for that is because that dark. It's because I don't care. I don't want to be confined to a beat. Now, mo now, most of the time, I actually do try, or at least here lately, most of the time, I've been trying to rap onto the beat to make it sound better. Because it does sound better if you rap onto the beat. It does sound like 20 times better. But, and by 20 times, I mean a billion times. 20% cooler, bro. 20% better. I hate my life. Um, anyways, I'm the only one drinking out of this, by the way. I gotta stop. People are gonna start shooting me up for saying that every single freaking time. Also, to let y'all know, I will have to go for jury duty. Maybe. At 5.30, I have to call them and know for sure. So, yeah, I gotta go for jury duty. Um... Probably. I don't know if I do or not, but I probably will. So pray for me um, about that. I hate it. But the good thing is I won't, I won't have to work. I'll get out of work. Still sucks, but I'll get out of work. And anyway, let's continue this, bro. Let's, let's continue. Let's go with this. So Jesse me with Brandon the Brony Pony. Nah, my bad. Brony Pony Productions. Let's go. I am recording, right? Yep, I am recording. Rather than I wasn't recording through all that, boy. Oh, I would have fired somebody. Brandon the Brony Pony. Hooray! <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Hooray! Life is full of adventure. Those yes, adventures it is. make the greatest of memories. Yep. And become an incredible tale. It's me, Bob! Then again, everything becomes a tale in the end. One no, that we'll never the end, boy! His and name a is Brandon. Tale. And this is where his tale... My name is Cupertine Hammer, bro. Get at me. Tale That's a tale. Begins. Hint the title in the question tale. Ha ha, I know her things. Shut up, man. I know things. I know things, but shut up, man. I know things. Brandon the Brony Pony in Garden. General brings you. I thought I was a tale of the Central, bro. I'm like, what? Written and directed by Garden Central. General. Audio editing about audacity. A brand... Whatever. 
Now he uses Audacity too. <laughs> I hate everything that just happened. By the way, I should be getting a light. By the way, for my uh, videos. Um. So yeah, hopefully, in the name of Jesus, I should be getting a light for my video. Oh. Brandon Hag Hagwit. Or Aaron G. You the D, boy. I know I need help. Girl. An equestrian tail? Give the tail. Yep, give me that tail. What the freak is wrong with me? There's a lot, but like, bro. Boy. Theme songs by SCU Records produced by Pabloo! Created by Brandon Bonnie Bonnie and Carden Thin, the general. Gosh darn it, why the freak do I keep saying? It was evening time in the human world. All is quiet and peaceful. Come on. We come across the main character of the story, Brandon, who is sitting in his room playing Smash Ultimate Online with his buddy Eric. Bye, talking to him on Discord. Come on. Come on. That's one stock for me. <laughs> That's still two to one, sucker. Whoa. Suddenly, there's a loud ear piercing Ta -ta. creak My outside bad. his window. Uh, mm. That sounds ominous. What the hell was that? I don't know. That's crazy. Swear to God, it sounds like the TARDIS. Hold on, Aaron. I just heard a loud crash outside my window. Same here. Sounded like a meteorite. I'll catch you later, bub. I'm gonna go and check it out. I'm gonna put my shoes on if that's cool with you guys. It'll be fine. Don't worry. You're going to die, Brandon. Whatever you say. Become smart. Hold on, let's see what's out here. I'm with your miserable life. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. He notices a mysterious door with a confused look. A door in the middle of the backyard? That's strange. I better go outside. He to just said a Brandon door goes with outside a to the backyard look. to investigate. But as soon as he gets outside his bedroom window, his jaw drops to what he sees. Holy sh! Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate that blur. Meanwhile, in the magical land of Equestria, Princess Celestia summoned the main six and Starlight Glimmer to Canterlot Castle. Your Highness, I'm here to inform you that the elements in Starlight Glimmer have arrived. Excellent. Send them in. Starlight and the main six stride confidently into the room. Greetings, my little ponies. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Princess Celestia! Twilight? It's so wonderful. You didn't sound like Twilight. You bet! It's been a while, Princess. Dash. Oh, come now, Rainbow. Um, excuse me for interrupting, but... Sup, Flutters? Um, your Majesty? Uh, Get on with it. You needed us all here for some... Coming, Brandon, bro. Get on with it. Yes. And as great as it is to see you all, I'm afraid I have some catastrophic news. Ugh. Applejack bulk. What the freak do you mean can't stop news, bruh? You see, it's worse than you actually realize. I'm gonna start rapping on here, bruh. Not really. Yeah. Here. Twilight told me how she and her friends bested him and sent him back to Tartarus. Why? Well, my little ponies, it would appear that not all of T-Rex's magic had left him. Oh boy, I can see where this is going. What do you mean? I thought we returned all the magic that brute stole. You did. Phew! For a second I thought you were gonna say... However, the magic from his brother did not. What? Oh no. But how is that possible? How did this even happen? I honestly wish Who knows? I Twilight. However, that's not the only concern. Oh goodness. What else? Spike is also missing. What? Spike? I'm not sure. Twilight, why are you I not saying nothing? Not with Twilight, so I had a thought. Well, it can't just be coincidence. T-Rex must have taken Spike when no pony was looking. Applejack covers her mouth. 
That's enough, Pinkie Pie. Oh, my poor little spiky wiki! Oh, the humanity! Why you care, Rarity? Why do you even care about humanity, Rarity? You are freaking pony! Bar. What? I'm <laughs> dying. So, what do we do? Get the fighting couch, bro. Get the fighting couch. Stop my ice cream. That's only good right now. Not gonna cap. Starlight and the main six follow Princess Celestia down to the castle basement, where the sunny princess is waiting for them next to a draped artifact. My little what? ponies. Twilight there. I present to you the Stardust. I mean, Whoa, I could have sworn I heard her, but I didn't hear her say anything about Spike, boy. <laughs> what exactly is the Stardust? Good question, Starlight. Maybe, she, maybe it was Starlight was that she said. I don't know, I'm done. When he was in pursuit of magic and travel. However, when he first made the Stardust, all he ever saw was static. When he could not get it to work, he threw it in the Everfree and left it to rot and mold. Until Luna and I came across it, we used this door to explore all kinds of fun worlds. Before I had to inevitably send her away. Kill her. You had to kill After her. After that, I put it down here, hoping that one day we would be able to use it again. I see. So I guess you want us to use it then. Use what? I wasn't paying Celestia attention. Celestia pauses when she hears a guard. You're busy approach. thinking of Celestia the murdering Luna. That's highness. funny. Excellent news, Captain. Okay. Are all preparations set? All preparations are a go, Your Majesty. Excellent. Well, my little pony. Now you know you're not rich, bro. Why are you sounding like it? Captain, have you seen Spike? Unfortunately, I have not, Miss Sparkle. We have sent the entire platoon out searching for Twilight is there. Even your brother's platoon. Then why don't you freak out about Spike? Why are you ready to freak out about Spike? We will oh. keep looking, rest assured. We will find him. Is there They doing else? stuff? Unfortunately not. I see. They doing. Thank you for the yeah. info, Captain. You are now dismissed. Yes, your highness. The captain turns and leaves the room. Great. Wait an apple pig minute. Shouldn't we what, be worried AJ? about something? What do you mean? Well, yeah. if T Rex used what little power he had to escape to break into Cantalot Castle to use the Stardust for his own personal gain. Okay, I was wondering how my microphone was picking up. Like, it sounded like my microphone was picking up the audio from the video, even though I had my AirPod in, so that's why I was a little confused. But it's just picking up the fan noise from my computer. So, Never mind, we good. What are we waiting for? Say, what the Let's happening? go through and make sure that doesn't happen. Oh dear. Why? Are you seeing what I think you're all saying? Indeed, girls. We're going to have to use the Stardust. Stardust. Okay, yeah, I wasn't paying attention at the beginning. Don't hurt me. We do it. Do it painfully. By the way, before I... If I keep looking down, it's because I reached as well... I, can't really tell you if it's charging. It recently bought me an earwax. Actually, here it is. Make sure also know my information. Nope. Okay. It's a the manual. Uh, for the powered earwax remover instructions. Yeah, that's powered earwax remover. It's an earwax remover. But I'm just looking down, make sure it's charged. Yeah, I've been charging this thing for freaking ever. <laughs> I think it was like two, like before two twenty, and it's still charging at four twenty six. Now, if it was zero percent, I could understand, but it wasn't. It was literally three bars charged already, and it goes up to four bars. So, wait, one, two, three, four, yeah, four bars. I had to count. I can't count. I mean, I can count. What? And it's still charging, so. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Only if I heard that or not, my back popped. Siri was, was listening to everything I was saying, bro. <laughs> the freak. Okay, girls, we better be careful this time around, with t on the loose. Yeah, and besides, nothing could get past us. Now don't you worry about a thing, Trick Cube. This ain't our first rodeo with t -Rick. I mean, if he can take this bull by the horns, he better be ready for a ride. Yeah, you may be right. But the point being is that t is still out there, and so is Spike. We need to find him- No one cares about that little brat, bro. Let's be for real. Be reached within this world or Equestria. Sounds like you sharpening a knife, bro. 
or growling one or very heavy squeaky door yeah and they all died the end what they dead they like for real dead they for real they dead Okay, we get it. Y'all dying. We get it, okay? Y'all ain't screaming. Don't be dying. I'm sure that if this is that if this is an actual book, Twilight like an and the actual, others arrive at their I'm sure if this right here is an actual book, I'm sure the book does not have all of those sound effects inside the book. Because that's literally physically impossible. So we don't need all the sound effects of Brandon H. Dang, I don't know what the freak happened to me there. Hey. Okay. Destination. Seeming skeptical about their surroundings. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brandon is trying to figure out what had made such a noise when he looks inside his own backyard and sees them. Holy sh! Oh Appreciate my it. God, I can't believe it. You're the ponies from MLP. This can't be real. Holy crap! Oh man, oh man, oh man! Don't. And Twilight and Starlight too. This is my greatest dream come true. No! Darlings, whatever was that for? We both panicked. Okay. I just hope he's all right. After how hard the two of you blasted him. As Forrest Gump once taught us, life is like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> and that couldn't be any further from the truth. My name is Eric. I cut some of my hair, my perspective bro. Of the story. Brandon and I I'll were having this. fun playing Smash. I'm when suddenly I heard a loud crash come from down the road. Hold on, Aaron. I just heard a loud crash outside my window. Same here. Sounded like a meteorite. I'll catch you later, bub. Okay, right. Now to find what that noise was. Aaron gets up and hurries outside. I can do this one. Part of the this one. But why did y'all just hang up after hearing a meteor strike? According that, according to y'all, is what the freak it was. Doubt it. But according to y'all, what the freak it was. Boy. Yeah, I know. I'm. I, I need help. Sound like whatever it crashed. It crashed down by the creek. Heck, I can still see the smoke. Aaron then goes down to the creek at a swift yet cautious pace. All right, I should be getting close here. When Aaron arrives at the creek bed, he cannot believe his eyes. Whoa, what are a couple of ponies? That's what they look like anyways. I've never seen any pony like these two before though. Heck. One of them's even wearing a hat. Well, either way, it's not safe for two ponies to be out here like this. He sets down his backpack. I usually use this to carry any rocks I find interesting, but I guess I can fit one of you in this rucksack. Fortunately, it's quite spacious. Aaron puts the unconscious Applejack in the rucksack. Apparently you- Unconscious! And what I miss? Unconscious Pinkie Pie in his arms. Alright, you two. Let's- Okay, so I think I might have blanked out. I don't know what the freak I missed, but I missed some. I'm not going to rewind because I'm tired. Um, But, bro, the freak. Unconscious. I thought Terrick was going to kill him. I didn't know y'all were. Dang, y'all going to stuff them, huh? Yeah, y'all know what I mean by that. It was That, that was literally uncalled for. Start with the freak. Get you home. So that way the two name, of you can cover. Aaron begins the trek name. back home. I deal with it. Woo! As soon as he arrives, he gently lays the two unconscious ponies down on the couch. Alrighty, now we just hope. Woo! We what the they do? A few minutes later, Applejack and Pinkie Pie wake up to see that they are in someone's house. Ugh. Might be a little pain too. Where I'm done. Are we? I'm hey, done. Applejack, the last thing I remember was you, me, and every pony else entered the star thingy, then now we're here. Well, we better be on the lookout then. Cause if this is some pony's home, I would hate to be an intruder. 
Before the farm mayor could that girl said himself, pinky yeah he already was hopping along to the kitchen where chocolate chip cookies were laid out on a baking sheet before applejack could stop her pinky was already shot. sitting atop the counter munching away at the cookies with her usual loud nom <laughs> As Pinky devours the cookies, there's a familiar sound of a door opening. My bad. Applejack, hearing this, grabs Pinkie Pie, who still has the tray of cookies in her hooves. Hey! What Applejack hmm? puts a hoof over Pinkie Pie's mouth. Quiet! I think I hear something coming. I thought she got smacked, enough, boy. Aaron I thought she got looks around, smacked out. To find the tray smacked. of cookies there we she go. left was missing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, That's no, hard to no, do. No, 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 no. Hard to get the good clap. Oh, this is bad. Like, so very bad. Ow. Aaron quickly hurt. rushes to the living room to find an empty rucksack <laughs> along with an empty tray of cookies. Oh, please, God, tell me they, they did not go back outside. That Help would me. be suicide if they did. Frantic, he begins to run up and down the whole house. Oh, the coyotes don't get a hold of them first. Some poor fool might accidentally shoot the them what? instead. Coyotes? Before anything else Coyote. can happen, though. Aaron hears a muffled scream. Oh, me, help me. oh, hell, that's probably one of them now. Aaron grabs his grandfather's billy club before heading out the door. Hang on, help is on the way. <laughs> As he enters the forest, oh, he sees a small like... purple dragon <clears throat> surrounded by a pack of coyotes who are growling. They were coyote. Okay. I thought they just got shot. Right now. Whatever that thing is, it needs help. Hey, Uglies, why don't you all pick on something your own size? Aaron whacks one of the coyotes with I don't think they're scared with your whispering, bro. This if you scream, the they might be, but if you're whispering, they ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna be fake, bro. Bites his arm. You gotta be like, yo, why don't you pick on some of your own size, bro? You gotta be like that, bro. You can't be like, yo, pick on some of your own size. Nah, you can't do that, bro. You gotta, you gotta mean, you gotta mean it, bro. You gotta be forceful with it. <laughs> Just don't punch yourself in the chest because you might die. But you gotta mean it, bro. You gotta mean it. Whispering and screaming, like a whispered scream, won't do anything, okay? I don't care if you have people hearing you, but my grandparents are in the house, bro. I don't care. I scream and I beat them down, bro. I scream like coyotes, bro. I don't care. I wake up the whole world, bro. I don't care. That's how I heard around the world. Pop, pop. That was two shots, but you get what I mean. Pa. This causes Aaron to retaliate by rapidly beating the coyote's head in until it lets go. At which point it stops moving. Well, oh, you think? Aaron breathes heavily before he turns to the others and sees them whimpering. The coyote's ears droop as some of them back off. This display of submission causes Aaron to grin. He then raises his arms high in the air and roars at the coyotes, causing them to scatter. Then stay out. They got scared by that whisper then walks war. Up to Aaron. I'm not gonna roar because that would actually be loud, and I no. Normally, there's like a little sound in the. I'm gonna stop before I miss anything. I'm gonna rewind through. Normally, there's like a sound in the background where I would be okay with it. Right now, my grandfather's edit editing a sermon, so I don't really feel comfortable screaming that much. You know, so I'm gonna try to avoid it. You know, so he can concentrate and everything. But you know, normally. Oh, now, now, if there was like the coyotes, though, oh, I'm screaming. Oh, I'm screaming. I don't care who it is. I don't care what they doing. I'm screaming. Okay, if there's actually coyotes, I'm screaming. Yeah. I'm not gonna... Hey! No, I'm gonna... Well, y'all heard me before. Ew, Let's tell you, bro. Thanks for saving me back there. Just what were those things anyway? Coyotes. They're wild animals who hunt in a pack in order to take down their prey. And unfortunately for you, you look pretty tasty to them. Gee, talk about ravenous. Yeah, well, that's nature for you. Either way, thanks again for saving me. My name's Spike. What's your name? Name's Aaron. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Spike. The My name's Spike. What's... That's nature for you. Either way, thanks again for saving me. My name's Spike. What's... Money Spike. Yo, money Spike. My name, that dude's name is Spike, bro. I thought he said that. I had to, had to rewatch it three times. Once was captions as well. 
to make sure. So you have a bat, sword, whatever you have in your hand, I don't care. You have a weapon because you just killed an innocent wolf. It's probably just trying to feed for its family, you know, trying to eat. And you just killed it. I look so gay doing this. Yes, I said that. Shut up. You can just smash his head in. I mean, you can. I mean, go ahead. I mean, he deserves it. He's a stupid little baby. Can't grow up to the very end of the franchise, pretty much. And by franchise, I mean freaking to the freaking end of G4. He finally grows up. And then G5, he changes animation styles and living in a different world and whatever. I mean, I don't know how he did that, but he did that. I mean, he looks, he's a lot better in G5. At the universe they live, they live in G5 universe, bro. They don't live in a G4 universe no more. That universe got destroyed from time. Hopefully, y'all understand a little bit what I'm saying. <laughs> Name's Eric. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, bud. The two shake on it, hand and claw, in an exchange of greeting. Now that we have introductions out of the way, I think it's best that you come with me. <laughs> Lest you want to be eaten by coyotes again. Ugh, no thank you. Where are we going exactly? To my home. His voice is just as annoying as I remember. And besides... Aaron frowns as he looks at the bite room. I think I might need to bandage myself up and have a shower as well. Yeah, sorry about that. Why are you apologizing to me? You're not the one who bit me. I know, but I still feel slightly responsible for that. <laughs> Spike, trust me, you should. I've been through worse squabbles. This is nothing compared to what I've been through. Aaron yeah, leaving him alive is worse. Kill him! Companion. He returns the gesture. I just said I wasn't going to be screaming yeah, that much. We're here. Look at me now. Spike, welcome to my home. To be continued. Brandon, voiced by himself. Aaron, voiced by himself, a.k.a. Garden General. Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, voiced by Twell Saloon. Rainbow Dash, uh, voiced people. by... Starlight Glimmer and Rarity, voiced Wait, by uh, Manius 3.0. Princess Celestia, voiced by Lotus Moon. That was a good Princess Celestia vo uh, Royal voice. Royal Guard, bro. voiced by Matty A. Guard Captain, voiced by Garden General. Spike the Dragon, voiced by Khalil Johnson, 12344. You can kill both of them. Brandon's cousin and aunt, background voices, played by themselves. Narration and Lord Tirek, voiced by Bowman Dean. Artwork by Zeppelin X. Music by SE Records, First Sack Attack, Kevin McLeod and 76. Written and directed by Garden General. Original idea from the gemstones, only to find he is struggling. Well, it looks like I'll have to. Full crystals, and he picks one up. So. First sack attack, Kevin McLeod and 76. Want to make sure I'm not missing nothing, bro. These are bloopers, we're gonna hear them out. Until GD is mentioned, then we won't. If they're bloopers, I don't know if they are, but they kinda kinda of, kind of sound like Next time on in Equestrian. This is next time, okay. Applejack? Spock? Applejack? Aaron? Aaron? Pinkie Pie! Oh good, you're awake. Should we tell him why we're here, darling? We believe that a powerful threat has come to your world and plans to wreak havoc and destruction. What? Who? This has been an equestrian tip. Wait a minute, what is that? Do you hear that? Tyrek is in a cave with glowing purple crystals and he picks one up. So, these are the fabled amethysts those humans talked about. How interesting. He attempts to suck the magic from the gemstones, only to find he is struggling. Well, it looks like I'll have to take a different approach. <laughs> After all, if you want something done properly, you sometimes have to do it yourself. He then consumes. Yep, kill a spike. I do that myself every single time. 
Y'all know I'm telling the truth, boy. Don't don't try it. Nah, y'all know I'm telling the truth, boy. Yeah. Okay, now, this has been an equestrian tale. Uh. <laughs> Struggling. Hey, Piper. What? No. <laughs> ah! I hate my voice. Ah! Indeed, girls. We're going to have to use Stardust. Oh, the Stardust. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> Too high. <laughs> oh, okay. Yay! Okay, it's working. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. <laughs> I don't know, Applejack. The last thing I remember was you, me, and every pony else entered the start <laughs> Oops. <laughs> No, oh. <clears throat> Pinky, yes! I, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm reading the instructions. I'm listening though. Pinkie Pie! No. <laughs> I forgot how long this thing actually does take. I forward. don't know. <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? Oh my god. That guy goes <laughs> to the bathroom all of a sudden. Oh! Freak. Ah! Okay, stop. I don't think I'll be able to hold to the end of the video. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm so Whoa. No, no! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! I can't do it! Oh my gosh! Wait an apple pick me. Do you want me to work? Uh? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Wait an apple. Oh! Whoa! Puberty! <laughs> so Hold on. Ah! Wait an apple pick me. Oh! Ah! Sorry. Well, if you have used what little power. Oh my god. Now, don't you worry about... Oh. Uh, I can't read. Well, okay, sorry. <laughs> Told you. Now, don't you worry about a thing, you cute. This ain't our first rodeo with he -Rex. I mean, if he can take his... Oh, if... Yeah. Okay, I... Just... Well, we better be on lookout then. Because this is... Oh, sorry. I can't talk. Wow. Ah. I can't talk either. Talk to time three hours. <laughs> well... We better be out on the look. Funny on Cause if this is some funny, oh my god! Well, we better be on the lookout then. Cause if this is what, ah, why can I not talk? Oh, oh. <clears throat> well, we better be on. We better be on the lookout then. Please, please, Swasa, please. Quiet. I think I hear something. Oh, something coming. Hi oh my god. Oh my god. Aaron? Oh no. Aaron? Oh god, I hit the high part. As Forrest Gump once taught us, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Cut. Retake. <clears throat> I'm like that oh, every time I record a song. Cut. I'm like, though I never seen any pony like these two before. They're... Well, I'm like that whenever I record a fast song, bro. I'm like, in order for me to talk faster, which is rap faster, I have to always make sure my lips are moist, or it won't be that great. So, yeah, I'm like. Every single time I try to record a fast burst. <laughs> Don't tell my one to know the information. Not that one. I usually carry. <clears throat> Dude. <clears throat> On the mic. <clears throat> Cut. Yeah, and besides, nothing could get past us. If the lamp wasn't in the way, that would have been lovely. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do that one that well. Your Highness, I'm here to inform you that the elements in Starlight Grim have our... Thanks for watching. I am assuming that's it because the video is almost over. So I'm gonna go end this video here. Hope you guys, hope you guys did do it. Forget this crap, comment, and because it's there. Take a mess up a little bit, but I'm not gonna question it. And as always, peace out.
by the way, I might do uh, chapter two tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but when I do another video, or or I might do another one. I'm, I think I'm doing the injection series, or not injection, infection, I think is what it is. But if you suggest to me a video and don't see it on here, let me know. Um, but yeah, uh, infection, infection AU. And I'm going to do it by Scribbler Productions because I started with Scribbler, so I'm going to finish it with Scribbler. I thought it was going to be like on Scribbler's channel, and then another one being on another narrator channel, then the chapter three being on another narrator channel, or whatever. But yeah, so, or part three, whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to probably do that one next. I really want to do that one. So I'm probably want to put um head I'm probably going I'm probably going to do nothing okay I was going to try to move it up never mind so I hope you guys did enjoy and as always peace out